Edmund to death inside her West Side home. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Police believe robbery was the motive in the death of Regina. It is the resting place of the country's past presidents and king. The next 24 hours. Ooh, it gets very, very cold yeah. there, but yeah. it's no, still. It's you know, we knock on wood, and I do say that because I don't want to jinx anything. <laughs> Not you, Linda. I'm no, knocking on wood. For, for my, but this has been a really nice spring. I know. Should uh -huh. I even say that? Yes, you yes. should. Let's say it. Let's it has been it nice, hasn't it? Okay, let's yeah. do. Yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good. Temperatures have been well above average mm -hmm. most of the uh -huh. month. I kind of tabulated what category we fit the high temperatures uh, for the days so far this month. We have had two days where the highs have been in the 80s, five days with high temperatures in the 70s, one with highs in the 60s, two in the 50s, two in the 40s. And our average high today is 57 degrees. Also in the high category today, the tree pollen. Allergy counts today, mold and weeds still low, but it are the trees, uh, cottonwood, oak, uh, seem to be problematic again today. So the average high today is 57. So up until this point, in April, our average highs are in the low to mid 50s, but we have surpassed that many, many days this month. And we will again today officially at O'Hare. Records intact today. We have a pretty healthy east wind at 13 miles per hour, however. And of course, that is holding back the numbers like in Waukegan, where you're only 48. I think in Waukegan today, at best, you get to maybe 53. Lakefront might get to 55. Crown Point at 61, 63 Romeoville. 60 degrees right now in Naperville. Warm front pushed pretty far south during the overnight period. And you can almost see where it is. It's certainly between Peoria and Chicago right now. Currently in Peoria, it's 75. It's 77 degrees in Champaign. Skies are becoming mainly sunny throughout Chicago right now. There was a little bit of rain overnight across the far northern suburbs in Gurnee and Wadsworth picking up a couple hundreds of an inch of precipitation across southern Wisconsin last night. There was some very gentle light rain. But for us today, we will see this warm front slowly lifting northward. It will not get to the lakefront in time to get those numbers up at the lakefront today, but it certainly will tomorrow. So mainly sunny. This was back in 1998, and now he is challenging restaurants in Chicago as well as all across the country that they should come up with more diabetic-friendly menus. What a good idea. And Earl the Pearl is here. With the world's largest international trade show dedicated to the kitchen and bath industry comes to Chicago this weekend, and companies will be showcasing some of the latest and most innovative products for the home. Now, Mark Harris is from the National Kitchen and Bath Association, is here now to show us some of the brand new items that are featured in the show. Some of them are fascinating, too. Great so, new products. Welcome. Let's start with this tub. It's pretty. Yes, I like the is. shape of it. The Agi tub. Uh -huh. um, it's a showpiece. It's uh, designed to be the center of attention in your bathroom. It's very pretty. It's like half an egg, isn't it? It's <laughs> yeah. pretty. It's very different. And look yep. at the bottom, the, the wood and everything. Okay. And does this take a while to fill up because when you think of large tubs like this you're thinking okay it's going to be a while before the no, water gets standard finished. fill time okay so it's for people who have those great big bathrooms right and you can put this right in the middle give you that mm -hmm. spire effect right. yeah. okay very pretty yeah. okay so if you have less space this mm -hmm. we find fascinating yeah we find it yeah. entertaining yeah, right. <laughs> uh, tell us about this uh toilet made by toto uh, -huh. mm -hmm. uh in the wall mount tank so it takes up less space okay um, you actually gain about nine inches of floor space on right. it it also has the dual flush technology. What do you okay. mean dual flush? Yeah. Um, less water, more water. Really? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're so not going to talk about what we talked about why. before. Yeah. <laughs> so this is more green. More green. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. So let's look at this refrigerator. Uh, oh. Lee Belair, uh, brand new refrigerator, um, biotech technology. It combines uh, humidity and temperature together to give you a perfect mix. Uh, food will last up to three times longer in this refrigerator. I want to see the inside. Can you open yeah. one of those sure. doors for us? And it's got two drawers beneath. Yep, French okay. door styling on top uh -huh. and freezer drawers below. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Should last longer. Food won't spoil. Three times longer. Okay. And two freezers. That's nice, yeah. too. Yep. That's good. Okay. Okay. I love this. this. Tell us about this one. Um, for people with...